Peace, family. Peace, peace, honey. The rose is coming out. <laughs> okay. Listen, Um, I wanted to come on here real quick. One second. Let me just do this real quick. Okay, so I wanted to, to come on here real quick and um, talk about this, okay, about buying your children everything. Now, um, this is a lesson that I definitely learned, okay, it took me a minute to get this, but um, I got it. See, us as parents, right, sometimes we tend to buy our children everything due to guilt. Okay, I told you guys before with my oldest children, I would buy them everything like when they were smaller, I would buy them everything because I felt that their father wasn't there. So I wanted to buy materialized things to complete a void. Okay, you can't you can't replace um, certain things you just can't replace with money. Okay, and so I didn't understand it. And as I had two additional children, right? I had four children. Um, what I started understanding now, their father is in their lives. Come pick them up and stuff like that. This video really is inspired because of today. My youngest son, right, is a book fit at his school. Now, lately, we've been working on confidence, improving his confidence and improving my confidence. We've been doing this thing together, right? And so... When we're doing his homework, I'm talking to him about confidence, right? And how the more knowledgeable he is, the more confident he's going to become. So this morning, getting them ready for school, I told you guys, yesterday I did the post. Lately, I'm not complaining, right? I'm observing myself. And so this morning, I'm getting him ready for school. And um, it was an incident that happened to his school. So I don't know if that's why he was prolonging the in him from going to school today or what but he started showing himself meaning he started acting a certain type of way so he goes he need money for the book fair now he told me a few days ago about the book fair but he didn't mention nothing else about it and in all honesty I kind of forgot about it and so he's going on he's like I need money for the book fair so I'm like you're gonna have to wait my old self would have probably instantly went to the ATM and took the money out for him to go get the books. But instead, I told him, I said, you're going to have to wait. You're going to have to be patient. Okay. So he asked me, well, actually, he went in a room, sat in a closet, and he was upset. So I asked him two questions. I said, look, are you going to stay in that closet and miss school? Okay. Because the books that you say you want to read. You got to know how to read them. So what we doing? We stand in the closet. So he stayed in the closet for a while. And then I said, in that robot you want? I ain't getting it. And so later on, shortly, he came out of the closet and sat on the sofa. And then he said, I said, come on, let's go. We going. So he's, he said, with the book fair money? I said, no. So then he started crying. I said, all right. I started letting my children decide how they want to choose their battles. This is what you have to understand. Now, our job as parents, we do not own our children, okay? Let me say that again. We do not own our children. Our children came through us, and we could guide them, and we could share our experiences, things that we learned along our journey, right? In the words of, oh, I can't think of his name, um... Uh, I can't think of, is it Sundeep? Sundeep, I think. One of the things he said was the adults that have children, they are just 
children themselves, right? They just adults, but they still children, right? And so what you can do, you could guide them. You could share your experiences with them and you let them decide what it is that they want. Also, I told my youngest son this. I said, let me tell you something. Do you want the books because you want the books or you want the books because of the kids in the school going to book fair and you see them and you like, well, I want to get a book because I feel left out. Which one is it? Because why are you crying? So he didn't answer the question. But what I said was, it's either one of two things. You want to buy the books to feel to fit in? Because if you want to fit in, okay, then that means that you're not even being you. But if you want the books, now I'm all for reading, okay? But what I'm teaching my son is you got to distinguish the differences. Are you doing this so you could fit in? Or are you doing it for your education so you could improve and so you could know stuff right right and we all know what education means and just in case if if you don't because once upon a time i didn't education actually means educo okay it means to bring whatever you have inside you bring it out okay and so what i told him was i said you will get the book but let's do the reading first okay now i'm not discouraging him from buying books but we're not going to move because everybody else is moving. We're not going to do everything because everybody else is doing it. That'll make you a follower. And what I told them is you're not a follower. You're a leader. Okay. So, you know, some of those things is best to start installing in your children. Because, listen, our children, they learn at an early age. They watch what you do. You know, you are the greatest teacher that they are looking at. And everything starts in a home. Okay, and so with that being said, I hope you guys got something from this. But if you spoiling your children, okay, I, I, whew, I can hear my grandmother now. If you spoiling your children, that's not even how the universe works. Okay, there's laws in, in this here universe. And if you spoiling them, buying them everything on the drop of a dime, what about when you're not around? What about when you when when you can't get that stuff? Then what? It may result into them stealing because you done show them everything that they want. And as I said, stealing, honey, I got an aha moment. You done show them everything that they want is so easily accessible because you always get everything that they want as opposed to letting them have patience. Because even with your desires, you're going to have to have patience. Because the more you want it, and the reason why you want the stuff so bad is because sometimes it's the validation. Is oh, when I have this, I'm going to show them. Like, you know, they ain't know who they was messing with, so I'm going to show them. I'm going to show them, and I bet you they going to want to be my friend then. I bet you they going to want to borrow money then. Be you. Love you. And with that being said, peace.